Hey family, what's going on? I have some things I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk about uh, this incident that happened in Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama. The riverboat uh, ordeal where uh, this black security guard was attacked by pink people. Um, I don't know if you guys know anything about it, but from what I gathered, I seen a video. Just trying to get this lined up. I seen a video of this black security guard. He looked like he may have been um, a senior, senior citizen, but he was doing his job. Um, these pink people were parked in the right, the wrong place. Uh, and the riverboat, the riverboat rode by and was trying to fi find a parking spot and they couldn't because this pink family was in their parking spot. So the security guard was trying to give them directions on where to move the boat. And he was attacked by this pink family. I mean, physically attacked by this pink family. He was punched in his face. Uh, first, it started off with one then maybe like seven or eight pink people piled up on top of this black man and was just just really assaulting him and i just thought to myself what the h e double -L, l l is going on here you know and i was i'm not even gonna lie i was wishing i was there i really was wishing i was there and um I just really, really, it's certain things I can't say because I'm on YouTube, but it was like really a horrific situation. This man is out here trying to take care of his family, doing his job, and then he's attacked by all these pink people, right? For simply just doing his job. So... I don't recall, I really don't recall anyone asking Marlon Wayans his opinion on what took place at the riverfront. I don't recall anyone, I don't, I didn't see anyone online saying, well, Marlon Wayans, what do you think of, about the black man being attacked at the riverfront? I just don't recall seeing that anywhere online, but he felt the need to give his opinion on the situation. Why? I don't know. Tap dancing is a requirement if you want to have a long career in Hollywood. Marlon Wayans level of self-importance is pretty high. Please do us all a favor and just shut up. I have never found you funny, Marlon Wayans, or even interesting for that matter. Marlon Wayans should stick to making ugly faces and terrible movies. You have always been a clown and thirsty to put on a wig. Wasn't he just nearly arrested for going off at the airport, calling, calling all of them racist at the airport? Wasn't he just arrest, almost arrested for that? Interesting how when something happens to one of these black celebrities, it's automatically racism, but everyone else needs to calm down. I'm not even going to repeat what Marlon Wayans had to say about this incident in Alabama. It's not even worth repeating. Marlon is a prime example of a Negro pen. Leave him all the way behind. Actually, he can kiss my rear end. Old Terry ass Cruz looking chump. That's what he is. He reminds me of Terry Cruz. The Wayans family had been sellouts for like ages and decades and decades and decades. They have always been sellouts. Please show them no support. The Wayans love their milk of magnesia and they are going to defend it at all costs. You see, 
It wasn't about the fight. It wasn't about the fight. That's just surface level stuff. The cheers was for what was deeper. Again, it, it wasn't really about the fight, although it was about the fight, but the people cheering it on, it was about something much deeper than just the, the surface. Folks claim they want to see us on code, but get mad when they see it in real time. Would you rather they stood by and watched the fight so that they could give it a witness account to the police while that man got jumped? I mean, because he got jumped. Should we have just stood by and just watched it? Should we have just stood by and watched this man get attacked by all these pink people? We don't have to be the bigger people for them. We don't have to turn the other cheek for them. These people attack a security guard doing his job. One of the thugs were calling people racial slurs and threatened to unalive people next time. That's terroristic threatening, I believe. They deserved everything they got that day. Jail time will do. It's called assault. Don't people go to jail for assaulting other people? History. History has shown that it doesn't matter how kind or timid or willing to be an Uncle Ruckus you are. You'll never be truly accepted and you shouldn't even want to be accepted. I was so proud. I was so proud to see my people coming to his defense. I almost teared up. I was so proud, so proud, so proud to see my people coming to that man's defense. We need more of this. We need more of this unity. It's a good look. I am also glad that the attack was videotaped. More importantly, very, very, very glad that it was on tape because if it wasn't on tape, it could have went the other way. We need more of this unity. Again, it's a great look. This violence was unprovoked. This violence was unprovoked against this black man. They got exactly the smoke they wanted. I am so proud of my people in Alabama. I am just so proud. Many hugs to you guys. I love you guys. You should be very proud. You, gotta, you have a lot to be proud of. I'm sending my love uh, and my support from Delaware. Peace.